más especiales? The Fuerza Especial de Reacción, or abbreviated as FAIR, is Mexico's Tier 1 Special Mission Unit, also known as Task Force Murcielago. This is the best of the best that the Mexican Army has to offer. This is one of four units which are seen as the Special Mission Units, and next to the Fuerzas Especiales, or FES, which is the Mexican Navy's Special Mission Unit. They are the only two publicly known ones. These four units are part of the Secretariat of Defense, abbreviated to Sedinia. They only take orders from the Mexican President, the Secretary of Defense, or the higher commands of their army. Their budget might not be as extensive as their U.S. equivalents. They are often compared to Delta Force, as their skill set, missions, and way of working is quite similar. They also often train with the world's most reputable Tier 1 units, from JSOC and European counterparts. Although relatively unknown, this unit has had their fair share of action on their home turf, where drug-related crime is dominating the streets, and they are frequently deployed to capture the most violent high-value targets. In an attempt by the Mexican government to get a grip on their own country, this is the unit that comes in when all hope is lost. Before we start, it's good to note that extensive Spanish references to units and structures have been left out. If you would like to know more, take a look in the description where I will share some more info about the organization and structure of this unit if you would like to know more. With that out of the way, let's dive into the details of this specialized Mexican Tier 1 unit. History and Organization As with many other units that we cover on this channel, a lot of the origins of this unit is unknown. The unit found life in 1994 of what is publicly known, but has been linked to the anti-terrorist protection efforts for the 1986 World Cup. Since, it has been undergoing several name changes, which is what we see in other countries and for other similar units as well. As with many other international units too, this unit has been modeled off of the 2-2 SAS which yet again proves how the world views the UK's most elite special forces. This is seen as one of the most elite Tier 1 special forces units in the whole of Latin America and have been making a name for themselves on the world stage. The FAIR is one of the Special Forces Corps' four specialist units, which is likely focused around anti-terrorist and CQB-oriented actions on land. These units are divided over three Special Forces Brigades, namely the High Command Group, the Airborne Brigade, and several amphibious Special Forces Groups. It is under the command of the Mexican Army Special Operations Command. Because of the sensitive nature of their activities, their headquarters are classified. Officers and senior NCOs make up the majority of FAIR operators. Just like other Tier 1 units it's modeled off of, it is known that they have different squadrons as well as different reconnaissance and direct action specializations within them. Teams are composed of several specialists who all bring their own skill set. Training and Selection In order for one to join the fair, the selected operator already needs to be a part of the Special Forces Corps, and you must be an SF Corps official or sergeant. One or more courses abroad will significantly increase your chances of selection, and experience seems to be key. He or she must have impeccable physical fitness, above average IQ, and pass a psychometric and physical test. It is believed that the selection phase is seven weeks, of which they will be constantly exposed to physical stress in order to find out how bad they want it. After successfully passing selection, they will continue with the relevant training in order to become an operator in the fair. It is presumed to be depending on your specialization, but this training includes and is not limited to tactical combat diving, guerrilla warfare, air mobile operations, personal defense, explosive handling, halo or hey-ho jumps, direct action and CQB and survival, evasion, resistance and escape, or SEER training we can only imagine the amount of skill and expertise that is needed to operate in these units. 
Next to this, not a lot is known about the details of the training and selection, which is obviously for good reasons. Operations The fair is heavily involved with the drug trafficking war within Mexico, and despite their secretive nature, it has become apparent that they are deployed within the streets of Mexico to capture the most violent cartel kingpins. They have some notable missions which are definitely worth mentioning. Operation Jalisco In May of 2015, the fair was hit with one of its darkest moments in history. Operation Jalisco aimed to capture the leader of the CJNG, called El Mincho. This cartel does not shy away from using extreme violence against the Mexican government and responds with force to all attempts of cracking them down. During this operation, was shot down by the elite security force of the CJNG, which is comprised of former special forces personnel and other military units. All fair operators died in the incident. This day was also marked as the first time that a cartel had been able to shoot down a helicopter with a rocket launcher. Operation Rainbow Major operations that are publicly known involve some of the most prolific drug lords known in history. With Operation Rainbow, they apprehended one of the most wanted cartel leaders in Mexico and the United States today, Osil Cardenas Guillen. During that time, they also identified a former army lieutenant as one of the key players in the Los Zetos cartel, Arturo Guzman de Sina, whose nickname was Z1. It was later revealed that he had a small army of specialized soldiers to his disposal, first as bodyguards and later as mercenaries for hire. This resulted in a war between two special forces, which is very rare throughout history. As they have similar tactics, the fair was very effective in countering their former SF colleagues, since they knew exactly what they had in store for them. Capturing Ovidio Guzman The most recent operation was on the 5th of January in 2023, when the fair participated in a joint operation with Sedinia Special Forces Corps and National Guard troops to capture Ovidio Guzman Lopez, a notorious drug trafficker, also known as El Raton from the Sinaloa cartel, also known as the son of El Chapo Guzman. The operators and National Guard engaged in a fierce battle with Oviedo's security group called Los Ninis, resulting in the loss of lives of some of the fair operators. This goes down in history as the Battle of Culiacan and is the second time that Ovidio Guzman was arrested. In 2019, the Sinaloa cartel revolted during his first arrest attacking the airport, governmental buildings, and a military base, basically taking over the city as they progressed. They demanded his release and forced the government into a position to which it could only release Oviedo from custody in order for the violence to end. It is safe to say that they have got their fair share of combat, with the violence that is connected to the war on drugs holding Mexico in a tight grip. Military commanders have argued that the fair is the most adequate solution to this violence, giving the cartel members a run for their money. Given their success rate and effectiveness, the Mexican government will undoubtedly give the fair an important role in the future plans of eliminating the threats and violence that are ongoing in their country. This was all for now. Give us your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.